if you love name exploit then please consider leaving a super thanks in the comments of this video it's a great way to make a one-time donation to the channel and help support name explain so there were no videos on the channel last week and that's for good reason i spent the majority of last week away from my desk in new york city enjoying the site taking in some local sports spending time with my amazing friend and podcast co-host paul in the flesh as opposed to just seeing him on a computer screen and eating copious amounts of bagels and pizza suffice to say i had an absolute blast when i'm normally on holiday i don't even want to look at a name let alone think about them yet in new york i can never quite turn that part of my brain off completely. New York City is quite possibly the most famous city on the entire planet. It's full to the brim with interesting and iconic names. We've actually talked about many of New York's names in previous videos. We've looked at how the boroughs got their names, how various neighborhoods got their names, how various famous streets got their names, and even looked into the truth behind the name of the city's most famous resident. Yet somehow we aren't done with this city yet. This is because during my latest venture into the city that never sleeps, I came across a a name that fascinated me. So when we first arrived in New York, we got an Uber to our hotel from JFK. Yet by the end of the trip, our funds had been depleted. So an Uber back to the airport wasn't on the cards. Instead, we took a mixture of the subway and the Long Island Railroad to get back to the airport. It was during this trip that I came across the name this video is all about. As the station we had to get off at to then get a separate train to the airport was, and is called, Jamaica. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to look around the neighborhood. It was pouring with rain and we had a flight to catch. But from what I can gather, Jamaica in New York City is a fairly nice, though somewhat uneventful, little part of the city. It is part of the larger borough of Queens, and according to Wikipedia, the neighborhood has a population of almost 45,000 people. It is also surrounded by other neighborhoods with Jamaica in their name, like South Jamaica, Jamaica Hills, and Jamaica Estate, which are often lumped together and considered the wider Jamaica area. Collectively, this wider area has a population of around 217,000. It's also pretty far removed from the rest of the city, with it taking around 45 minutes to reach Times Square from Jamaica on the subway. As to what it's like on the street level in this neighborhood, well, like I said, we didn't get the chance to wander around it ourselves. But from reading about it online, it seems that Jamaica is mainly a residential area, full of shops and restaurants and the kind of things you need to live everyday life. And from what I've also read, it is seemingly pretty safe there but with parts of the neighborhood being a tad more dangerous. But you get this pretty much anywhere on the planet. According to TripAdvisor, the most popular thing to do there is the Long Island Railroad, aka the thing that gets you out of the neighborhood. So basically, Jamaica in Queens is just a pretty unassuming part of the city, away from the hustle and bustle and swarms of tourists you will find in places like Times Square and Williamsburg. Undoubtedly, the most interesting thing about this place has to be that name. Jamaica is a name you have most likely heard of before, and I also imagine that most people on the planet when asked to point to Jamaica on a map wouldn't point to this part of Queens, but instead hover their finger somewhere over the Caribbean Sea. This is of course due to the island nation of Jamaica, which is found in this sea. The nation of Jamaica is often seen as an island paradise, and is also a popular tourist destination. It seems that the only tourists that make their way to Jamaica in New York City are the ones who are coming and going from the airport. Suffice say Jamaica in Queens and Jamaica in the Caribbean are two very different places, yet they're connected by the fact they have the exact same name. So what is exactly happening here? Was the neighborhood named in O to the Island? Or perhaps it was first settled by expats who left Jamaica in the same vein as Little Italy or Chinatown? Or maybe the country is named after this part of New York City? Maybe someone from this city in the past helped set things up on the island? Or maybe they are both named after the exact same thing? Thing. New York and the island both have colonial ties with the British, so maybe Jamaica was originally a British name, which was given to both areas by my fellow countrymen. The names are literally identical. There has to be some kind of connection between the two of them, right? Well, no. Despite the similarities in the names, neither one is named after the other. In fact, both names come from completely different languages. It is seemingly just a coincidence that these two places have the exact same name. In fact, they didn't always have the same name. Jamaica and Queens, when first colonized, had a completely different name, that being Lustorf. This is a Dutch name, which makes sense as the city as a whole has a long history with the Dutch, once being called New Amsterdam. This name simply means rest 
town, as it must have been settled as a place for colonizers to get some rest. It was only once the English took over that the name Jamaica became more popular. So why did the English give this area the name of Jamaica? Well, they weren't naming it after the island in the Caribbean. Instead, they were naming it after the people they found in the area. No, not Jamaican expats, but instead the Yamako or Yamaka, Native Americans who called this land home since way before Europeans settled in the area. There is a long history in the states of places being named after native tribes and their words, so this is simply another example of that happening. This tribe's name is believed to come from their word for beaver, as in the little swimming mammals with funny tails that make dams. I imagine that beavers were once very common in this area, though in my brief time in the neighborhood I didn't notice any beavers I have to admit. From their name of Yameko, it is easy to see how it got corrupted into Jamaica. Now, while most sources say that this tribe themselves had this name, there is also a slightly different story out there, and one I personally believe a tad more. This variant story says that the tribe weren't called the Yameko, but instead they were the Lenape people, a more well-known of tribe that are also known as the Delaware people, who, yeah, are the namesake of the nearby state too. As mentioned, many parts of the USA derive their names from native tribes. In this story, instead of the area being named after the tribe itself, the area is named after the tribe's word for beaver. This makes a tad more sense to me, as it is a tradition across a variety of Native American tribes to name places after the resources they found there. For example, Chicago is believed to possibly mean Garlic River in a Native American language, as natives found garlic along the banks of the river. It's easy to see how the Lenape people could have named this area after beavers in this way, as beavers could have been a valuable asset to them. Whatever story is true, it seems that this part of New York is undoubtedly named in honor of beavers. The island of Jamaica, however, isn't named after beavers. In fact, there are no beavers in Jamaica at all. A land mammal that is seemingly present in Jamaica, and from one source is the island's only native land mammal, is however the Jamaican coney, a rodent type creature. The reason I mention this is because this Jamaican mammal shares its name with another part of New York City, that being Coney Island in South Brooklyn, known for its various fairgrounds. Is there a link between these names? Well, yes. Well, most likely anyway. Coney derives from the Dutch word for rabbit, konijn. The Dutch named this part of Brooklyn because it was full of wild rabbits when they first got there. I can only imagine that the Jamaican Coney is named after rabbits too, as they are pretty rabbit-like in appearance. So, there is a weird naming link between Jamaica and New York, just not the part of the city named Jamaica. Anyway, weird tangent aside, the island of Jamaica derives its name from the Arawak language, the language of the island's initial inhabitants, the Arawak people. In this language, the island has the name of Yamaka, with the X making something of a soft J sound to begin with. This means the land of wood and water, in relation to the forests found on the island, and the water that surrounds it all. As you can see, this name has nothing to do with beavers, so there is really little to no connection between these two places named Jamaica from an etymological standpoint. The only similarity they do share is the fact that they both come from indigenous American roots, and one person on a reddit thread talking about this wondered if this meant that there was a connection between the two at all, as one name revolves around water and the other revolves around beavers, which live in water. Well, while there is a chance, I don't think it is that likely. This is because while both deriving from Native American languages, the languages they come from are from different language families. The languages of the Yameko slash Anape people, Munsi and Unami, are from the Algonquian language family, which derive from the northeast of North America, while the Arawak language spoken by the Arawak people is from the Arakan language family, which derives from South America. So, these two words and names are from completely different roots and language families. But that's my own theorizing. There's always a chance there could be some cross-pollination between these names. So, while the name Jamaica can be found in a part of New York and on an island in the Caribbean, there is pretty much zero link between the two. One is named after beavers that once called this area home, while the other is named after its abundance of woodland and the water that surrounds it. As I said up top, when I go away, I try and switch off the name explained part of my brain and just enjoy myself. But there's always interesting names and words around us, especially in a city like New York. I guess I will never be able to truly escape 
escape the world of names and languages. Whatever the case, my week in New York was wonderful, full of fun memories and incredible food. Seriously, I wish I could live somewhere I could get a bagel at 2am. And without this trip away, this video would never have happened. I hope you all enjoyed this slightly more silly video while I try and get over my jet lag. And hey, at least now I can write this trip off as a business expense. Name Explained depends on viewers like yourself supporting the channel financially on Patreon. So a huge thank you to everyone who does. Donating just $1 a month helps the channel amazingly and gets you bonuses including ad-free videos, exclusive content, the power to request ideas to be made into actual Name Explained videos, and your name at the end of the video with all these awesome people. Visit patreon.com forward slash Name Explained or click the link down below to find out how you too can support the channel. Thank you. Thanks for reaching the end of the video. Why not watch another and subscribe to keep up to date on all things Name Explain? You can find myself on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain to talk with myself and other name nerds. All of that will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.